So, Overwatch decided to join the crossplay bandwagon. <sighs> I mean, depending on who you ask, this is either fantastic or terrible, some from what I've been able to see. Um, personally, I, I kind of don't really care because I don't really play the game too much anymore, but um, I don't think it's going to help queue times much at all. <laughs> Because you figure DPS has been and always will be the most popular role to play because, let's face it, it's the most fun role to play. And now that you have everybody on, you know, PC, Xbox, whatever, now that you have everybody trying to queue for DPS at once, it's just going to make the queue times that much longer. And tank queue times are still going to be an absolute joke where you can basically just hit Q and insta-join a game. And then supports, maybe you'll have to wait a little longer because of the console supports, but you're still not going to have to wait long because, let's face it, since when does support or tank ever have a queue of more than, like, two minutes tops? Like, come on. One thing I've been seeing is some of the more competitive, try-hardy folks saying, oh, this is going to be easy SR because the console players are going to be such trash. If you can't take advantage of that, you're terrible. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, just, just shut up. That doesn't matter. <laughs> to be honest, that'll only make it that much funnier when someone like that gets absolutely destroyed by a console player. So, I don't know. I just, I don't really play the game too much anymore. And honestly, something like crossplay is definitely not going to be something that's going to pull me back into it. Because of the three total friends I know who even have Overwatch, none of them have even had it installed on their computers for almost two years now, so don't exactly have people I can play it with. And solo queue is just as terrible as ever, because you tend to get put with teammates that are either, you know, either they very clearly have no idea what they're doing, or they are some of the most toxic human beings you've ever met who will verbally abuse you for the entire match because you made one teeny tiny little mistake at the beginning. Ugh. I mean, yeah, crossplay is kind of a neat idea because then you can have people, you know, like who don't have a gaming caliber PC that can play with their PC buddies and whatnot. That's kind of cool. I'll admit that. I do think crossplay is a good idea for a lot of games. And obviously, you know, it in theory will help because there will be, you know, more people trying to queue in general. So there should be more games to throw people into. But at the same time, as I said... I don't think it's going to help DPS queue times at all. If anything, it's actually probably going to make it worse because there's just going to be that much more people all trying to queue for DPS because DPS is by far the most fun role to play. So, I don't know. I think the other thing for me, though, is I'm not sure it's necessarily going to help community stuff because... But at this point, Overwatch is kind of cemented as having a rather toxic player base to the point where even the devs have tried to make vid videos essentially saying, be nice to each other, please. And, well, on the, I say, on the one hand, the console players are now going to get to know what it's like to be <laughs> verbally abused in the text chat instead of just the voice chat. But at the same time, now you're going to have console kids deep-throating their mics like this whenever they get mad at you. So. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to equalize that in editing. Holy crap. I just <laughs> I just saw the thing and oh I'm gonna have to equalize that. Oh But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean across like I think crossplay is definitely a good idea because you'll have more people be able to play together and whatnot. But given what I'm I'm not expecting it to do much good in the way of queue times and whatnot, I think I'll just keep it as a game that I touch every so often to see if it's gotten any less shit and go from there especially lately because I've been absolutely sucked into Genshin Impact lately and I've been grinding the hell out of that and I just picked up uh, Monster Hunter Rise so I'm probably going to be playing that a lot too I don't know I don't know what the point of this video is I just felt like ranting for a couple minutes